Hey guys, this is Frank here with uh, Die Hard RC Addicts, and I got my Radjet 800 out. Um, you guys have been wanting to see it run on a four cell, so I finally uh, carved out some of the foam inside there so I could get the battery back far enough to get the CG right. Um, I'm running a 1300 milliamp Turnigy, and it's a 30C uh, four cell pack, and it just fits nice and snug in here. Um, when I did that, though, it blocked the air passage to the ESC, so I cut another vent hole here to let air in and put a little piece of plastic to help me grab some of the air to force it in there and then hopefully the air will go in over the top of the ESC and come out. Uh, it's the same motor I had as the last time which is basically a 2826-6 and it's a 2200 kV motor. Um, I downsized the prop a little bit because uh, I didn't want to blow the motor up so we're running a, a 4.75 by 4.75 prop from Hobby King. This is a sport prop and I did a watt meter test at home. It's pulling right at 20, just over 27 amps and 420 watts of power. So what was the ESC in this plane again, Frank? The ESC is one of the Hobby King, the H King is what they call it, 50 amp ESC, and it's rated up to 4S, so hopefully it holds up. Should, it's only pulling 27 amps, so it shouldn't be a problem. So let me get everything plugged in and we'll toss it in the air and see how it does. Okay guys, we're all plugged in, here goes. <laughs> Do you think that's any faster than the other setup? I don't know. It doesn't really seem like it's a whole lot faster. Um, mm -hmm. It could be the fact that these batteries are pretty old. Um, I've had these on the shelf probably for at least a year and a half and haven't used them. So I'm thinking they might need to be cycled. I also might just get some new uh, nanotechs to try out in it. I need to get some maybe some 1300 uh, 4590C or if I can get some of the new uh, 65 130C, 35C, I think it would fly a lot faster.